I'm happy to have you back again. Let's do a video all about dandruff. Flex in between your hairlines and on your beautiful dress. So it's something annoying you and because of this situation you are particularly all the time stressed. If dandruff is a topic of your interest then definitely you should stick with me and watch the video till the end. So hi everybody who are watching me for the first time and who doesn't know me then in short I'm Dr. Swati and I'm a cosmetologist, skin specialist, trichologist and a diet consultant and recently doing a research on my favorite topic cosmetic formulation. So exactly what is the dandruff? The dandruff is a common condition in which the skin over the scalp turns into the flex. It's not a contagious or serious one, but it is something socially embarrassing and difficult to treat. In more severe condition, there is a inflammation, which we called it as a seboric dermatitis. In babies also, there is a flex all around the scalp and it just looking like a cradle cap. So, we call it as a cradle cap. Normally, over the scalp, there is a skin cells forms and they shed off. And if there is an excessive production of oil or sebum, there is an excessive shedding of dead skin cells. So this is all happened because of stress and because of stress there is a hormonal imbalance. So what happened is because of the overproduction of oil, certain kind of fungus we called it as a Molassesia furfur. Isn't it funny? But this is the name of fungus which grows over the sebum, which feed over the sebum. So the more flex is visible because of this fungus. Stress is a one cause but there are some other causes too. So what are these causes? So here is the hair products which you are using such as hair dyes and the hair gels, mousse, such like other products too which containing chemical ingredients. When these chemical ingredients come in contact with your sensitive skin then it reacting towards that products and there is a signs of inflammation such as itching, redness which these chemical ingredients come in contact with your sensitive skin this condition is we called it as a contact dermatitis so you choose your hair care products wisely so that you prevent the situation of dandruff are you shampooing your hairs two to three times in a week but my recommendation is if your scalp is oily then you should shampoo your hairs every alternate day with a mild conditioner one more cause is brushing if you brush your hairs irregularly then there is a chances of more dandruff brush your hairs properly and twice in a day your taste buds are happy when you eat some junk foods but there is a nothing nutritious if you take a balanced diet which is nutritious and keratin friendly then you prevent your dandruff situation So how to get rid of dandruff? Here I mention some do's and don'ts. First of all, reduce your stress. So how to reduce your stress? By doing some yoga or pranayama or simply go for a walk. This kind of situation you can handle by yourself. Take some keratin friendly foods which are good to your hairs. I already made this video 
over carotene friendly foods you just check it out or i will share the link below in description box choose your hair care products according to your scalp which the ingredients in that products are suitable or do not harm your scalp don't apply anything over your scalp which causes itching redness swelling one more thing is don't over oiling your hairs or the hot towels or use of hot bath so that you may provide the environment to that kind of fungus which grows very fastly and the dandruff is more visible one more common habit of all the people who have dandruff that they are continuously picking or scratching their scalp so that the situation is worsened in this topic i cover most of the part of dandruff and i hope this will helpful to you in next video i will share some important and right ingredients which are helpful to get rid of your dandruff so more updates just subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon you can share the video with your friends and family if you have any queries then ask me in the comment section below thank you for watching stay healthy and safe bye bye